Hi everyone, welcome back to PC Helper. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing of the game Ghost of Tsushima on your PC. So there are several crashing issues in the game right now and a lot of users are unable to proceed with the game because of it. So I have divided this video in two parts. In the first part, I'll talk about the fixes I've collected from different forums of this game where real users have explained what has fixed this issue for them. So this will fix the issue for most of the users. But if you are still facing this issue, then you should proceed with the second half of this video where I have used my older clips to demonstrate a list of workarounds that might fix that issue for you. And if by any chance your issue is still not fixed, then just write in the comment section. So as soon as there is another workaround for this issue, I can reply to your comment and even other users can give their input on what has worked for them. So now let's proceed without any further ado with the solutions of this problem. So this is the first workaround that worked for this user on Steam. So this user had very random crashes with DXGI error device hung message. I think I managed to fix it by setting the game.exe compatibility mode to Windows 8. I am on Windows 11 and RX 6800 drivers with latest drivers. So what this user meant was, all you have to do is go to .exe file of your game or any application that you want to change the compatibility mode for. So in this case you have to go to your ghost of Tsushima's .exe file and go to its properties and its properties go to advanced settings. Sorry, in go to compatibility settings. And in compatibility settings, you have to select run this game in compatibility mode for and once you selected Windows 8, you have to click on apply and then you have to click on OK. I'm not applying it because I don't want to run my Filmora in compatibility mode for Windows 8. But this is the first workaround which worked for this user. Now let's move to the second one. So this is the second workaround which worked for another user on Steam. So this user is saying, I fixed the device hung error by installing reshade. Don't even have to use it, just install it. It changes some DLL files related to DirectX. So all you have to do is install the reshade files of this game and once you have done it, restart your game and then try running your game and according to this user what happens is some DLL files are missing from your DirectX but it gets installed while you install reshade and it works fine. So you can try it or you can move to the next step. Now the third workaround is more of a discussion. So you can choose which solution do you opt for here. So this first user has said, I resolved this by taking a shot in the dark by disabling the AMD FTPM option in BIOS. I didn't know if this would solve it, but this solved the issue. So what this user is suggesting that AMD FTPM option in BIOS, you have to disable it and your game would run fine. And as you can see, another user has confirmed, thank you, this worked for me. But the issue here is that another user here has suggested that if you have Windows 11, you don't want to disable FTPM at all. I had the same issue and solved it by making a DXDIAG file. So I had an issue with my Microsoft basic display adapter and so I uninstalled that device from my device manager and it works now. So what you have to do is, so what this user is suggesting, you have to search for run in your run search command box and your run type dxdiag and click on ok. So what it will do is it will run some direct text analysis on your system and it will analyze if there are any issues in your display adapters. As you can see it is running an analysis. And for me, in notes, there are no problems found. But for that user, there were some issues. So what he did was he went to his device manager. So if you have any issues here, you have to go to your device manager. And you can choose to do two things, either of two things. So whichever of your display adapter has issue, for example, your NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 has some issue, right click on it. First click on update driver and update the driver from here. Or what you can do is you can uninstall the device here and install it again and this is what fixed the issue for this user. Another user has confirmed that just got this error for the first time. Same issue listed in DXDIAG for me. I have uninstalled the basic display adapter, going to test it now. So you can also report in the comment section if this worked for you. So this was all for all the workaround I found on forums. Now let's move to the second part of the video where I've provided solutions to fix crashing issues by fixing overall issues in your system. So let's move to the second half of this video. So the first most basic thing that works for almost everyone is that you should try running your game with the help of WT Fast. The main purpose of this software is to fix online lag and hyping issues but it is the most helpful software to fix server issues too. But using it is a bit complicated so I've already made a guide on how to run any game using this software. I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this one so you can easily watch it. So just run your game using WT Fast and your problem will most probably be fixed but if you are still facing this issue Further then proceed to the next step. step. I found this step after searching on many forums related to this topic and it is a really important step because it is working for most of the users. So what you have to do is you just have to go to your explorer and here go to this PC, right click on it and go to its properties. 
in properties you have to go to advanced system settings and here you have to go to performance and in performance you again have to go to settings and in settings make sure you are in advanced settings in advanced settings you have to go to program select programs here and click on change and now comes the most important part here deselect automatically manage paging files size for all drives and now you have to select the drive in which your game is installed so for example i only have c drive so i will select this but if you have your game installed in d drive then select the d drive now you have to select custom size here and now the question is what you have to enter here so in initial size you have to enter the recommended size here as you can see recommended here recommended for me is 1896 mb so initial size should be equal to the recommended size that is equal to 1896 now the maximum size should be equal to now let's take a calculator here and if you have 8 gigs of ram my pc has 8 gigs of ram so just multiply 8 by 1024 and the answer is 8192 so you just have to enter your ram in mb so 8192 should be for 8 gb of ram but if you have 16 gigs of ram just enter 16 into 1024 and you should enter 16384 in the maximum size now for 32 gigs of ram you should enter 32 into 1024 that is 32768 and lastly let's cover for 12 gigs of ram 2 that is 12 into 1024 and it is equal to 12 to double eight so you have to enter it in the maximum size now you have to just click on ok apply these settings and it will ask you to restart your pc to apply these settings so just restart your pc and your problem will be most probably fixed but if it's still not fixed then proceed to the next step now this step is a really interesting one and an important one at the same time it is very interesting because a lot of users think because they have updated their windows and they have updated their gpu then their pc is up to date but that's not it because while gaming a lot other drivers are used for example your display adapters your network adapters your keyboard and mouse drivers and these are not updated regularly with your windows update so what you need to do is you have to just go to google and download any driver updater there are many third party softwares which just scans for all the drivers and update them one by one so if you are unable to figure out which software to download here then you can just watch my videos on one of such softwares that is driver booster 7 i will provide the link of this video in the description in this video i have shown how to download this software install this software and use it to update your drivers also it has many interesting tools like you can fix no sound issues fix device error fix network failure fix bad resolution so you can do these things also but it's still up to you if you want to download any other software you can download it but if you want to download this one i'll provide the link of this video in the description of this one so that's it for this step so i believe that is it for this video i hope it worked for you if it worked for you then please leave a like if you have any question write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe for regular gaming content related to this game and many other games thank you and have a nice day